we are at the global Harvard Global Health Catalyst Summit, and with me is a team from Pakistan. They're going to introduce themselves and tell us what they are here for, and uh, we'll take it from there. Perfect. I'm Fiza Shaukat, and I'm one of the Global Health Initiative leaders at Harvard. I am Dr. Sumera Bhatt, and I'm a radiation oncologist working at Shaukat Khanam Cancer Memorial Hospital uh, at Pakistan. Hi, my name is Farooq Shaukat. I am a Global Health Initiative Leader at Harvard. And uh, why is the Global Health Catalyst uh, Summit important to you, and why are you here today? Absolutely. So we all three are from Pakistan. Pakistan is a country with a population of 220 million, where per capita income is less than $1,000. Uh, the uh, average cancer incidences per year are more than 170,000 and increasing. To cater to these ca cancer incidents, there's only 30 major hospitals with uh, oncology services. And this number of cancer incidences is increasing, but the number of hospitals, the quality and the quantity is not increasing. So back in, uh, back a few months, um, uh, both of us uh, went to Pakistan and we started discussing these ideas and started doing like a current assessment and working with Dr. Butt uh, to see what were the problems that they were facing in, in the cancer hospitals and started like brainstorming and coming up with ideas where we realized that most of the ABE, like there were huge problems, infrastructure problems, like the hospital did not have uh, enough equipment to treat the patients. The hospital lacked training for the proper equipment, how the equipment should be used. And there were a number of other uh, issues also that we highlighted. And then we started uh, uh, trying to brainstorm that what will be the potential solutions towards which that we can move. And that's where we started to collaborate with the Global Health Catalyst and with uh, Dr. Will over here in order to come up with solutions that, would, that we can implement over there. So I can add more to that. When we went to Pakistan, we were looking at generally in Pakistan, like looking into government and private hospitals. And that's where all these problems that uh, he, Farooq is describing in. But when we looked at a model at Shakat Khanam, it was at an outlier where we saw that there was a very good infrastructure in place. And Dr. Butt will add more about how Shakat Khanam is an outlier to all these uh, within Pakistan with all these uh, government hospitals. But our major focus and vision became of how to bring all these resources that are here in Boston, um, in, in the USA, and we can provide and establish that collaboration in Pakistan in terms of education, cancer education, cancer research, cancer outreach, and cancer care. So we want to focus in these four broad areas and provide um, the best of the resources that are available over here uh, to back in Pakistan. Uh, we have an initial uh, brainstorming of ideas of beginning with education and providing training support at Chakat Khan Memorial Hospital, and we are going to begin, hopefully, that training in July. And Dr. Sumera is going to now highlight more about the Shaukat Khanam Institute and how it's um, a state-of-an-art model in Pakistan. So, yes, I have been working at Chakat Khanam for the last uh, 10 years now, and it's a great honor for me to work at Chakat Khanam because our mission statement is very clear in terms of providing equal state-of-the-art art cancer treatment to all the patients. So this is very important that we all follow the same vision. And we are all doing that at Shaukat Khanam. And Shaukat Khanam is a model institute in which we are trying our best so that all the treatment, all the facilities, and maximum uh, research, and all the uh, activities like education and information, public awareness, everything is possible so that it can work as a comprehensive cancer care center. And we can treat our patients according to the international standards. And the hospital is also accredited by JCI International, which proves that we are following quality and we are giving quality cancer treatment to our patients. And that's why I think when, you are, when we are working with cancer, there's constant need to improve. Yep. And the, the things are constantly changing. There is new equipment. And you need to update yourself with the new things. So that's why we want to collaborate with Harvard so that they can train our staff 
at Shaukat Khanam so that they are fully equipped and they can train other people in other hospitals so that it can improve the health quality or health system in other hospitals as well. So that's why we are looking forward to this collaboration so that we can improve education and promote further programs in future. And we are looking forward to working with Global Health Summit in this regard. Yeah, and just to add that, uh, greatly summarized by Fiza and Dr. Samara. So basically, like as Fiza pointed out, that we want to connect the resources that are available at Harvard with like the developing countries like Pakistan. Um, what the advantages would be that we'll be providing them with a multidisciplinary top uh, oncologists, surgeons. They will be training them, and they will be educating and promoting this uh, uh, this education that we are about to start with uh, Shaukat Khanum. In addition to that, we will be using like a reverse uh, class methodology, where it will be a very active uh, session where the physicians and and medical physicists and technicians in Pakistan will be collaborating and will be uh, uh, will be taught by these uh, professors of uh, Harvard. And in, in addition, we'll be setting up metrics and uh, taking feedback in a very timely manner. So to make sure that this this is very useful to the people of uh, of both Pakistan and over here. Yeah. Um so you have talked a lot about the collaborations and all that. I'm curious about um, whether you've heard about the tumor boards and whether you're going to be a part of the tumor boards. Um, I recently ch chatted with uh, Dr. Asana and Dr. Uh, Ziberi about, you know, they were talking about the cancer tumor boards. And also the E, I just uh, spoke to the CEO of eCancer and so I'm wondering whether you're also going to be a part of that. And uh, thirdly, whether you're involving the, your Pakistani diaspora and to what extent in this initiative? So I can um, answer one of them and then we can go turn by turn. Uh, so in in terms of e-cancer, actually the education platform that we are initiating, uh, which was going to start by the SBRT training, is going to be at an online platform, which will be initiated by the e-cancer. So it will be on the same services. And we, the main objective is, firstly, we don't want like the training that we're doing just to be uh, relevant to just uh, Shaka Khan. And that could, if those, if the course cu curriculum goes through, it could be used for anybody around the world. So that same curriculum or that same methodology could then be apply to Africa or some other developing country in the world. So we are not limiting when the, the kind of curriculum or the time of resources that we are generating over here, it will not be only specific to uh, Pakistan. And um, the entire motivation of this was that we were looking at the entire uh, uh, like the courses that they have designed for Africa, and it amazed and impressed me of how collaborative and how in the last five years it's been successful. Okay. So we want to do it at the same level in Pakistan, and I think that eCancer and all these platforms are the basis which will help us to initiate and greatly rapidly extend that collaboration. So yeah. to go on the... Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think that one of our strengths um, being over here is the diaspora, like uh, as Dr. Samara also mentioned in her talk that one of the initiatives that Shaka Khanum has taken, that the junior consultants are uh, come to these hospitals in um, Europe and in United States where they're given like a training for two years and then they go back to the Shaka Khanum in order to contribute back to the hospital, right? right? So our idea is definitely to get more diaspora involved, like the medical physicians and the uh, uh, people who are in Harvard who've been working over here uh, to get them involved and get their ideas and see how they can benefit like we, we like initially what we planned is is a 13 week curriculum and we are sure that we will need help from people from all surrounding like to organize administer and to just teach the course so absolutely we'll be working with people uh, of Pakistani origin but uh, like anyone who's interested of it because this is an initiative which basically like more the people get involved the better that we can uh, give give back to the community yeah that is excellent i think that's what the global health catalyst program is about and uh, that's why i am here that's why we're here to make the connections wherever possible 
to find a, a Pakistani team that probably is looking to collaborate with a Ugandan team somewhere and also to look for the Harvard team and bring them together the table, same table, to have the same conversation to create the kind of collaborations we need. So we're excited about your programs and uh, I don't know whether you have anything else to say before um, we say good, good night to you. Yeah. <laughs> We just want to say thank you to like the entire team at Pakistan and in Harvard who has helped to make this collaboration and initiate this idea. Um, I think it was really initial, but our long-term vision is that we really want to make sure that cancer is not cured only just in U.S., but like all around the world and in Pakistan and at Chakot Khanam and other government hospitals, wherever it's possible, we are able to extend our needs and help to cure cancer as much as possible and as quickly as possible. Well, uh, I will be knocking at your doors uh, at some point to, uh, you know, find out what the progress is because we just don't want to have a one conversation and then forget about it. Well, this is uh, a baseline for accountability. Who will be knocking? <laughs> <laughs> So, it is, we have video evidence, so it, we'll no, hold you accountable. <laughs> so anyway, it was nice hosting you in Africa to you, and we look forward to collaborating. Thank you so much, Vivian. Thank you.